Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Remember a couple years back when we were building the minifigure scale Death Star? Well, after some time working out the logistics of this project, we figured trying to build a Lego model with a diameter of roughly Manhattan Island, beating the world record of largest dome by almost a hundred times, and the fact that probably there aren't more than seven billion base plates in existence to even cover the surface of the model, we've ultimately decided to retire the fig scale Lego Death Star idea. You have seen though in the title and thumbnail that we've uh, fully regained our senses and we're tackling a much more realistic Lego building project, which is to make a minifigure scale Star Destroyer. Just a quick refresher, minifigure scale means that it is built to the accurate size in relation to a standard Lego minifigure. So visually, let's break this down. Here is a Star Destroyer. Let's zoom in on one of the shield generator domes. And okay, now here is the Lego equivalent in digital so far. Again, even closer, and you can see this little minifigure for reference. Let's do it again. This is a video of me holding the UCS Tiderium set 10212. And now back to a digital render of the internal structure of the Star Destroyer, and you can see the same set. When I zoom out, this should give you an idea of what we're talking about. Also, another shot of the frame and a very small minifigure standing in front. And now you're starting to get a picture of how big a minifigure Star Destroyer actually would turn out. At 1 35th scale, it would be a 55 meter long project. And so far, just the pieces that you see here making up a bit of the frame is roughly 30,000. So far, bits of the bridge have been designed, so you can see how big it's gonna be in relation to the larger head of the Star Destroyer. There's actually quite a bit of the details already rendered out here. And there's also some visuals for escape pods for the officers in higher detail. They go right underneath the bridge and slowly but surely certain sections of the Star Destroyer are being built in digital. Now I don't want to get too deep into this video before coming clean to you guys because I don't think it would be fair to the original designers here. Look at the date that this video is being posted and no. No, we're not officially building this model right now. And in fact, this idea and all of these designs and renders come from Axmex, and it's part of the 8th Fleet project. In all seriousness, this designer is very serious about eventually turning this into a physical model someday. He originally reached out to us for a collaboration. I told him I'd make this video because it'd be kind of fun for April 1st, but he wanted to reiterate that he is very serious about this eventually becoming a real physical thing someday. I've left a link to his Instagram if you want to see updates for this massive Lego project idea. It is at 8th Fleet Project. There's also a dedicated subreddit as well. He wanted me to give a quick shout out as well to Desk Chair, who's building bits of the interior, and Olaf Chell, who is apparently building additional scale ships, including Gideon's Architans class cruiser. So anyways, this was just kind of a fun half trolling video. We are not in the process of building this right now, but somebody is designing this and the people behind it are very serious about eventually wanting to find funding or somehow find a space to eventually start putting a model like this together. Now, if I had to put my two cents into this project, I think there'd be some logistical issues like maybe a metal frame should be built initially to support a lot of the massive weight for this model. If it's going to be a piece that people can come in and see interior shots, maybe just a half section or a cross section of the Star Destroyer might make for a more interesting piece altogether, and it would be half as many parts. And logistically, I think it would make a little bit more sense to downsize this project somewhat. 135th scale isn't the more common minifigure scale that most designers like to use. It's closer to like 143 and a half. This is the same scale like the UCS Millennium Falcon or Slave One, and ultimately it would take this 55 meter long design right here and shrink it down to a total of 34 and a half meters long. This would be a really cool like massive collaboration project where you could have open bays on the interior showing AT-ATs and rows of TIE fighters. And don't get me wrong, a real project like this sounds like the most amazing thing ever, but someone would have to get essentially a large warehouse 
and dedicate it to nothing but the construction of this model for several years. It would be millions and millions of bricks and cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe a million dollars, who knows? It's a cool idea, it's a crazy idea, but really on a project like this, sky is sort of the limit. Anyways, big thanks to Axmex for sending these renders over to me and initially reaching out for collaboration. If you wanna see how this massive design slowly but surely develops and gets up Dated. Uh, remember, there's links to the media, his media, 8th Fleet project in the description below. Crazy projects like this are always really fun to speculate about within the LEGO building community. So anyways, I thought this would be a fun one to chew on. And who knows, maybe we'll be making a video about this not on April 1st. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoy our content, you can always like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever it is that you want to do. And we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Yeah.